Jeremiah chapter 49. Concerning the Ammonites, thus says the Lord, Has Israel no sons? Has he no heir? Why then does their king inherit Gad, as his people dwell in his cities? Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Reba of the Ammonites, and it shall be a desolate heap, and her daughters shall be burned with fire. Then shall Israel be heir to them that were his heirs, says the Lord. How I, O Heshbon, for Ai is spoiled, cry, you daughters of Reba. Gird you a sackcloth, lament, and run to and fro by the hedges. For their king shall go into captivity, and his priests and his princes together. Why glory you in the valleys, your flowing valley, O backsliding daughter, that trusted in her treasures, saying, Who shall come to me? Behold, I will bring a fear upon you, says the Lord God of hosts, from all those that be about you, and you shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wonders. And afterward, I will bring again the captivity of the children of Ammon, says the Lord. Concerning Edom, thus says the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee you, churn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. If grape gatherers come to you, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave your fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let your widows trust in me. For thus says the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And are you he that shall altogether go unpunished? You shall not go up unpunished, but you shall surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, says the Lord, that Bozrah shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent to the heathen, saying, Gather you together, and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make you a small among the heathen, and despised among men. Your terribleness has deceived you, and the pride of your heart, O you that dwells in the clefts of the rock that holds the height of the hill, though you should make your nest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from there, says the Lord. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goes by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overflow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, says the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her, who is chosen man, that I may appoint over her. For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Edom, and his purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry of the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Bozrah. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded, 
and are pad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble and turns again, turns herself to flee. And fear has seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, says the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the places of Ben-Hadad, concerning Keter, and concerning the kingdoms of Hazor, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, shall smite. Thus says the Lord, Arise, you, go up to Keter, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves their curtains, and all their vessels, and their camels, and all, or, and they shall cry to them, Fear is on every side. Flee, get you far off. Dwell deep, O you inhabitants of Hazor, says the Lord. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has taken counsel against you, and has conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up to the wealthy nation that dwells without care, says the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone, and their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil. And I will scatter into all winds them that are in the utmost corners. And I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, says the Lord. And Hazor shall be a dwelling for dragons, and a desolation forever. There shall no man abide there, nor any son of man dwell in it. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might, and upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds, and there shall be no nation where the outcasts of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Elam to be dismayed, before their enemies, and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, says the Lord, and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them, and I will set my throne in Elam, and will destroy from there the king and the princes, says the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, says the Lord.